is, yes. Welcome to the garden, Mark. So this is the NAACP garden that celebrates cultural diversity in the city. Um, it's a partnership between NAACP Brockton Area Branch, the Champion High School, which is right here behind us, and also the uh, Brockton Cultural Council, which provided partial funding for it. So what we did is we have 13 garden beds here in the garden. Um, as well as some land by the school wall. And we wanted to plant some things that are common um, to the American diet, but also a few things that are a little bit different, um, and in particular things that celebrate different cultures. Um, so here in my hand, for example, I have a West Indian burr gherkin. Um, it's also um, a cucumber, uh, but it actually um, is used in Brazilian cuisine in a spicy stir fry, so you can cook it. You can also eat it raw, um, and you can also um, pickle it, which we haven't tried before. But as you can see in this bed right next to me, uh, because Champion High has such a, a full-on sun position here um, and pretty shallow soil, it's really taken over this whole bed. And as you'll see, there's you know a whole bunch of them in the leaves, hanging off the sides. They do really well in here. Um, so that's something that's been really fun to grow, highlighting Brazilian cuisine. Um, we've also done a few other fun things in this garden as well too. We've tried to do some companion planting. So we've planted, for example, in this potato bed here behind us, we've planted some marigolds along with potatoes that are purple and also regular um, yellow potatoes. But the marigolds help attract pollinators like bees, um, which are really great for the flowering potatoes. And they also help keep away pests like the hornworm. So we've done some of that in this garden. Good afternoon. Hello everybody, my name is Phyllis Ellis, president of the Brockton Area Branch NAACP. Thank you all for coming to our first anniversary of our cultural garden. Two years ago, we received a grant from Brockton Cultural Society. And what we wanted to do with that grant was to plant food for all the diversity shown in Brockton. We did it through a garden. Last year we planted all various seeds. And you can see from the garden behind me how it has First, also, we did a cookbook. We did a cookbook from residents of the city who submitted re recipes representing their different um, backgrounds. We have Tony Branch octails. We have Doris <laughs> mac and cheese. We have Tim and Janet Swedish meatballs. You have my baked beans. I mean, I, I submitted pork chops, but I didn't make those today because I just didn't. <laughs> But today we are here, I'm glad everyone came out. We have a lot of uh, uh, people running for office here today. We have Kevin Borges. We have Ann Beauregard. We have Susan Nicastro, who's unopposed. <laughs> so we're gonna have Tony Branch bless the food right now so you guys can partake in some of the good old food we brought today. Tony. If you would bow your heads, please, Father God, in the name of the Jesus that I serve, bless the food that we are now about to receive. May we by strength in our bodies for Christ's sake, we pray. Please say amen. And also, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the people who actually maintain our garden. Joanne Zygmunt. Pat Monty. Grady Motes. The principal at Champion High School, some of the teachers and some of the students. All right, they do a fantastic job maintaining our garden. And our friend, Gerard. Gerard is always on hand. He lives right across the street. He's always on hand taking care of our garden. So thank you all, okay? Enjoy the food.